Hi, I'm Tony Northrup and I'm going to show you how to configure virtual machines using VirtualBox to connect to multiple internal networks. You'll see here a diagram that shows three different computers connected to two networks. Boston happens to have two network adapters and is connected to both the INT1 and INT2 networks. Binghamton and DC SRV1 each have one network adapter and are only connected to one of those two networks. This complex network configuration is useful for demonstrating routing in Windows Server 2008 or any other operating system. I'll switch over to VirtualBox now. You can see the first three computers here are the computers described in the diagram. To change the network settings, I'll select the computer and then click the Settings button. Next, I'll click the Network tab. Here, you can see I have four different network adapters available. Only adapter 1 is selected. Where it shows Attached to, I will select Internal Network. Now I can type the name of the internal network. You can type anything in there. It's only important that you type the same name for the internal network for the different computers that are going to be connected to it. So I've typed int1 here. This network is not bridged or connected to any external network. It's only connected to other computers that are connected to the same network. I'll click OK to finalize the settings. Notice that these three computers are powered off. You can't make these changes while the computer is powered on. So Boston actually has two network adapters. For adapter 1, I will attach it to an internal network named int1. Next, I will select adapter 2 and select the Enable Network Adapter checkbox. I will connect it to the internal network and for the name I will type int2. I'll click OK to finalize that. Finally, I will configure DC SRV1. Selecting the Network tab, only one network adapter is selected, internal network, and I will connect it to int2. Now I will click OK. Now all I have to do is start the individual operating systems and configure their IP addresses.